My name's Eve Barlow. You may know me as a defender of the Jewish people on Twitter, perhaps on Instagram. You may know me as the Jew everyone hates or loves, depending on who you talk to. As the person who was reduced to a Twitter meme and a hate name, Eve Fartlow, if you've been living under a rock. As the person who uh, Seth Rogen tweeted a fart emoji at during the war between Israel and Hamas last spring. You may know me as someone who wasn't hesitating at the first sign of Jewish institutions being targeted and synagogues being vandalized during the Black Lives Matter protests in the summer of 2020. I called it out. Fighting one form of hate with another form of hate gets us nowhere. You may have heard that I had already been fighting anti-Semitism online for years prior, when in my home country, a man running to be prime minister, Jeremy Corbyn, was actively allowing anti-Semitism to go unchecked within the ranks of his political party. To stand by in silence was not an option for me. I had a voice. I still have a voice. For as long as I have the freedom to use it, I will. Why did I get the call to fight, some of you may ask. When did I first experience anti-Semitism? You know, it, it's not a simple answer because it's hard to put into words the little pilot light that goes off in your soul. When you hear the words whispering loudly in your ears, Vehi she amda la avotenu volanu, shelo echad bilvad, amad alenu la chalotenu, Ela shebachol dor vador, omdim alenu la chalotenu, vehakadosh baruch hu matzilenu mi adam. And this, the promise, is what kept our fathers and keeps us surviving. For not only one arose and tried to destroy us, rather in every generation they tried to destroy us. And Hashem saves us from their hands. The lesson of our history as a people is that empires rise and fall, but we are the light that never goes out. Some say we are chosen. I believe that we chose. We chose as a people to incarnate a living relationship with the eternal. However you imagine the eternal to be, a God or otherwise. We don't depend on anyone else's opinion of us. We are Jews. Societies ebb and flow around us, but they fail when they fail us. Why? Because anti-Semitism is a disease. It rots the mind. It poisons mental faculties against reality and instead encourages the adoption of conspiracy theories as its hosts become further and further mistrusting of the world. Although anti-Semitism can, and often is, incredibly destructive to us Jews, it's the nations who allow anti-Semitism's collective victims to take over, thereby embracing this toxic madness, that suffer. That is why we must remain Am Echad, one people. That is why we have to embrace a complete understanding of our history and our identity. That is why we cannot be forced to fit into the mold of the non-Jewish worlds among us. We are older than these worlds and we will be here longer. When I consider the hardship my ancestors endured in order for me to stand before you all today, a humble Jew from Glasgow. When I, is there anyone from Glasgow here? Really? 
Okay, Mazel Tov. <laughs> when I consider the frightening societies they fled, and the sacrifices they made, and the freedoms they lost, the promises that went unfulfilled, the resilience they sustained, I understand that to be Jewish and alive and able to fight a new enemy is an honor and a miracle that far outweighs any day of being ratioed on Twitter. I do not fight against anti-Semites because to purport to fight a hatred that has lasted thousands of years is not realistic. I fight for Jews. I fight for our stories to be accurately conveyed. I fight for our nation of Israel to inspire pride as the most successful reclamation of a land by its people in all of history. I fight for the memory of my ancestors who were so busy surviving, they couldn't dream of an age where Jews could gather in spaces like this talking about their future prosperity. I fight to inspire more Jews, especially all of you, to be proud of who you are. Because being proud is so much more powerful than cowering to the trend of victimhood. I fight for Am Yisrael, the people of Israel, the eternal people who refuse to disappear at the hands of our haters. Thank you.